Hey there, and welcome to this week's episode of Jovo Wednesday on Davil App. This time we're going to talk about Google Actions that play audio files by using the Google Action Media Response API. And so Jovo offers a template for that, which you're looking at right now. And I'm going to walk you through the process step by step of setting this up. So let's get started. First, to download this template, uh, go to your terminal, type in Jovo New, we will call it Media Response and then use the template Google slash media response. And this will set up a new Jovo project, um, use the template um, that I just showed you and install the NPM dependencies for it. After the NPM dependencies are installed, go to into your project and open it in your code editor. Okay, so if we take a look at the project JS, this is a Google action only project. So there's no Alexa skill here. We're going to use dialogue flow. And then if we take a look at the source code in the app.js, um, you can see that um, there's uh, two things that it's using or, or three things. So it uses a, a song that we host on our servers for you to test. And in the launch request, you have suggestion chips um, for, for stopping and pausing. Um, this is required and then it uses the media response object in the Google action to play this set song and passes a title um, called first song and that's it and so and then also we have some uh, some ask method here the ask method is important to keep the session open so this is something that's different compared to Alexa skills where you can't use an ask method for example you can only use tell and so here we can keep the session open in order to react to the suggestion chips for example and then we have this audio player block here. If you remember the Alexa skill audio player, we have a bunch of, of stuff. Those are all handled by the Google action. And so we only get the, uh, the Google action dot finished request when the audio is finished. And this is also the request where we would add a second audio file, for example, and, uh, and stuff like that. And if you want to learn more about this, I will, I will show you our course on how to get started to build a podcast player uh, later after this tutorial. And that's basically it. And to get started, uh, we can go and, and deploy that to Dialogflow and the actions on Google Console. And so to do that, use Jovo build to build the platform specific folder. So if you now go back into your project, you can now find the platforms folder with the Google action and the, all the Dialogflow things that are needed here. And then also, if you do Jovo deploy, this will deploy these files. So what, what this just did is it did create a file called dialogflowagent.zip. And so typically it's a little difficult to set up automatic deployments for Google Actions or for Dialogflow agents because you need to create a service account, you need to download credentials and so on. And we have a tutorial on this. Um, but to get started quickly, you can use the import feature. And so um, if you go to um, dialogue flow and create a new agent and, um, and enter the settings here, you can find the export and import uh, menu here and can click on restore from zip and go to media response platforms, Google action. And here's the dialogue flow agent.zip file. And you can use that and type in restore to restore the current agent. So what you can find here, we have a Hello World intent, for example. So nothing, nothing really new. And as fulfillment, we have my webhook URL. But that's it. And to, um, to test it out with the actions on Google integration, go to the integrations tab here, click on that, click on test. And this will open the actions on Google console. And you can find your Google action here. There's one more thing we need to do though. To enable the media response API, we need to go to surface capabilities to the left and check this here. So our action requires media playback. So we need to say yes here and that's it. And then we can test it in the simulator. So we can now do talk to my test app. My test app isn't responding right now. Try again soon. Need to do Jovo run. Shh. 
Sure, getting the test version of my test app. How do you like my new song? Okay, and here's the song playing, right? And so what I forgot here is I forgot to run the Jovo local development server and this way um, it couldn't access um, the endpoint, but then when I, when I did Jovo run, it worked. And so now it's playing the audio file and I can also use these suggestion chips here, for example, to stop it. And then that's it. Okay, and so this is how it can play an audio file. And also we can test it on the device as well. So I can the un mic's back on this here. Okay, Google, talk to my test app. Okay, getting the test version of my test app. How do you like my new song? Okay, cool. The song's produced by my brother, by the way. Uh, okay, I'll, okay, Google, stop. And that's it. And so this is how you can play a single audio file in your Google Action. And if you want to dive deeper and um, look for more like playing different songs in a row, selecting songs and stuff like that, uh, we just released a new eight step course uh, called build a podcast player, uh, which is really almost 10,000 words long. It goes through all the necessary steps to make a podcast player work on both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And I encourage you to, uh, to try it out if you want to dive deeper into audio player, uh, Google Actions and Alexa skills. That's it. See you next week for Jovo Wednesday on Dabble Lab.